1 million species of animals and plants around the world are now at risk due of extinction due to pollution, climate change, habitat destruction, and overfishing. This is News Review from ASE Learning Science. I'm Sam. A new United Nations report say that nature is essential for our existence and a good quality of life. Mohammed will be joining us from the control room to tell us how the future would look like if nothing is done. Thank you, Sam. Hello, everyone. Hundreds of scientists and some diplomats from 132 countries say that human survival depends on healthy animals and plants, and destroying them ultimately hurts us. From penguins and killer whales in Antarctica to orangutans in Indonesia and sea turtles to the Great Barrier Reef, animals all over the world find their habitats threatened by human activities like unstable famine and pollution and their, and their survival is at stake. Let's learn about some of the beautiful creatures most in need of help, protection and conservation. Let's listen to Yahya. I'm Yahya having some news about rhinos. Unfortunately, the reason of rhinos extinction is their distinctive nose horn, which are used in traditional Chinese medicine and displayed as statues symbol and demonstration of wealth. The price of Reno's horn can reach to $30,000 per kg in the black market. We have another interaction. I've heard from a reliable source that the endangered red wall population could be completely gone in the next 10 years. The U.S. Fish and the Wildlife Service say that there are only four red wolves left the wild and a related federal report showed that the main cause of death is gunshot wounds. And there are many other endangered animals and plants. Finally, always remember that those endangered creatures should be kept in protected lands. Never purchase products made from threatened or endangered species. And har harassing wildlife is cruel and illegal. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. Black holes. A black hole is a region of space-time where gravity is so, so strong that nothing, no particles or even electromagnetic radiations such as light can escape from it. Most black holes form from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion. Because no light can get out, people cannot see the black holes. They are invisible. Space telescopes with special tools can help find the black holes. Black holes can be big or small. Scientists think that the smallest black holes are as small as just one atom. These black holes are very tiny, but have the mass of a large mountain. Another kind of black holes is called stellar. Its mass can be up to 20 times more than the mass of the sun. The largest black holes are called supermassive. These black holes have masses that are more than 1 million suns together. Also, uh, also, black holes are very tiny, they are very heavy. What are you doing? I'm studying the indicators lesson. The indicators in our book are scientific indicators. Yes, do you think there are any natural indicators? Let's go to the lab and explore. Hi viewers, welcome to our Rashid lab. I am Ahmed Bashar and I am Tar. Our topic today is about the natural indicators. Many household products and garden plants can be used as pH indicators. Most plants contain sensitive pH into cyanins, making them perfect for testing acid and base levels. Onion bulbs, hibiscus flower, red cabbage contain anthocyanin pigment that can be used as indicators. 
and we will show you this experiment in our school lab. These flowers were soaked all night to extract their anthocyanin pigment. And our second natural indicators are oil are onions. We should cut and boil onions in a suitable amount of water. Take the red cabbage and cut into small pieces and put it to boil. And after we boil it, we will take a, we will put it in the strainer and we will take a clear purple solution like indicator. And now let's start our experiment. As you see here, these indicators are having different colors uh, whether in, they are in acidic or basic solution. On the develop pale red in acidic solution and green in basic solution. Uh, flower flower uh, indicators it change into pink in acidic solution and green in basic solution. Talking about a red cabbage, it's uh, strange to blue and neutral, substan neutral substances and green and yellow in bases and pink and pink and red in acidic solution. Finally, we learned today that anthocyanins can be changed chemically in acid and base and we can use it instead of uh, chemical indicators. It was an interesting experience. One million species of animals and plants are now at risk to be extinct. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Hello, everyone. Scientists. What? I love you. I love you. I love you. Hibiscus flower, red cabbage, contain anthocyanin. Anthocyan. The reason of rhinos can reach to. <laughs> Your revish. We put it in the strainer and take uh, a clear purple solution like an indicator. I've heard from a lot of sources that the in the oh. <laughs> <laughs>